Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 14 back to iOS 13 and keep your data. All right, well, let's get into things. So Apple has just released iOS 14 to the public pretty recently. If you guys have updated to it and if you want to go back to iOS 13, you're only going to have a couple weeks to do so. Apple inevitably always unsigns prior and previous iOS versions a couple weeks after new ones are released. So if you guys want to downgrade for whatever reason, here is exactly how to do so. Now, the great thing about this tutorial is it works for all devices running iOS 14 and it's going to keep your data. A lot of the tutorials I've seen out there recently uh, do this quicker method, and unfortunately that won't work when downgrading from iOS 14 to 13. So definitely stick around and watch this specific method on how to keep your data. Of course, you will need a computer to do this, so borrow a friend's. It doesn't have to be a Mac, you can use a PC too, but you're going to need a computer to do this process. So just an overview of this video. First, we're going to download the IPSW file. We're going to turn off Find My iPhone. We're going to back up our data, and then we're going to restore from iOS 14 to iOS 13. Once that restore is complete, then we are going to restore user data. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into things. Go ahead and go to your internet browser of choice, and you're going to go to uh, downgradeios.com. And uh, this will have instructions, written instructions of what is displayed in this video, if you guys want to read through this. But basically, we're going to scroll all the way down to iOS IPSW. This is where the downloads live. So just give it a second here and you will be redirected. Now, before we get too far into things, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys want to see more content by us, ding that notification bell. And if you guys just can't get enough of us, follow us on social for even more updates. So go ahead and uh, click here to be redirected to the downloads. Now, in this video, I'm using my iPhone 10 Global. We're going to go ahead and select iPhone. Select your iPhone model. Uh, I'm going to go right here, iPhone 10 Global. And uh, you guys are going to want to select any iOS 13 version that's highlighted in green right here. These are currently signed versions of iOS. Anything in red right here, that won't let you downgrade or restore to it. So go ahead and tap on this. And if you scroll down below the release notes, you will have the blue download button right there. Go ahead and tap that to download. So to save time, I went ahead and downloaded this IPSW file for my specific device before starting recording. So it's already downloaded and ready to go. Now, the only thing we need to do on the actual device itself is turn off Find My iPhone. So go ahead and go into the Settings app, tap on your username at the top, tap Find My, and turn off Find My iPhone. Just tap that right there, enter your password, and now Find My iPhone has been disabled. We can go ahead and exit out of that. So now's the point in the video where we connect our computer to our iPhone. Go ahead and trust this connection both on the iPhone and on the computer and go ahead and click get started. I just did a fresh restore to iOS 14 for this video. So now before we start the restore, this is probably the most important step. If you guys want to keep your data that you've gathered on iOS 14, you're going to back up your iPhone and not to the cloud, but you're actually going to back it up to this Mac. So go ahead and click back up all this data to this Mac or to this PC if you're on a Windows based computer and select backup. Now, as you guys can see, the backup process has started. I'll just give it a second here for that to complete. All right, so our iPhone data has been backed up. Now it's time for the restore. Again, like I was saying at the beginning of this video, typically uh, I've seen tutorials suggest that you click this check for updates button 
and then select an iOS 13 IPSW, that will not work in this case. Your restore will fail and you may lose your data. So in this case, we're actually going to click restore iPhone. But before we do that, we're going to hold down either option on a Mac or shift on a Windows based PC to manually select which version or which IPSW file to downgrade to. So holding option on a Mac, we can click restore. It will bring up this prompt. Again, I pre-downloaded this IPSW file for my specific iOS device ahead of time. We're gonna go ahead and click open on that and click restore. Now the phone is being freshly restored back to iOS 13. There will be no data on this device, but again, we manually backed up our data to our computer. We'll restore that once this restore has completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing do its thing and I will be right back. All right, so now the restore has completed. Now we are back on iOS 13. That is half the battle right there. Now let's go ahead and get your data back on the phone. So just navigate through a few on-screen steps. You can actually just go down to the bottom and click connect to Mac or PC since we're going to be restoring data from that. So back on the computer, it's gonna go ahead and activate our iPhone real fast. The good part comes in just one second. So I'll go ahead and let this do its thing, I guess, real fast. And oh, there we go, just in time. So now if you notice, really what we're trying to do is restore from this backup. If you go ahead and click continue, unfortunately, this is going to fail. It's going to say it cannot restore uh, the data because it's not compatible. Basically, you can't restore an iOS 14 backup to iOS 13. The software was too new. Well, in this quick video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. This is like the most educational and important part of this video. So go ahead and just set it up as a new device real fast. It's gonna go ahead and try to back up uh, something. We don't really want this backup. Really where we wanna go on the computer is to manage backups. Now, of course I'm doing this on a Mac. I will have linked in your cards now a Windows version of this tutorial as well. The steps are pretty much the same. You'll just be using a few different utilities to do this. So you can go ahead and select that backup that we just made. Now, if you uh, right click on this backup and go show in Finder, it's gonna pop it up in this folder. We can go ahead and enter that. We just wanna open up the info.plist and uh, we can go ahead and open it up. You can open it up with Xcode, you can open it up with text edit, or any other plist editor. So I'm actually using this uh, free plist editor called Proper Tree. Uh, I use it when I made my Hackintosh uh, bootloader, so it works great for this. Um, otherwise, you guys can just use text edit and uh, use Command F to search for product version. Now, right here it says 14. Literally, all we're going to do is change it to 13.0 and save Apple S to save that file. We can go ahead and exit out of Finder and uh, just literally click OK out of all of that. And now we can click Restore Backup. That backup right there is the one we made before downgrading to iOS 13. We just changed the plist and look at this guys. Now the restore of our data has started. My light just died, but it's okay. As you guys can see in a second here on my iPhone, it's gonna pop up saying uh, restore in progress. And all of the data that we had on iOS 14 is now going to iOS 13. So I'm gonna grab a new battery for my light while this finishes up and I'll be right back. All right, well, here we go, guys. Restore completed. That pretty much concludes this video. We can go ahead and select our Wi-Fi network again. 
just going to get to the home screen to show you guys that our data has been restored. Look at that. It remembered my Wi-Fi password, so that's a good sign. So just a couple more things to click through. And here's the moment of truth, guys. Welcome to iPhone. Look at that. It kept my wallpaper. It kept my icon layout minus a few widgets. I'm just going to go ahead and go into the settings app, go to general and about and show you guys that we're back on iOS 13, 13.7 to be specific. But that pretty much concludes this tutorial, guys, on how to downgrade from iOS 14 back to a currently signed version of iOS 13 and keep all of your user data. Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Again, definitely check in this video's description for a Windows version of this tutorial. Uh, that's about all I have for you. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely subscribe before you go. Ding that notification bell. Follow us on social and all that good stuff. But I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.